Hello, everyone. Welcome to this week's live video podcast. I'm your host, Aqua Alex Cardinelli. Thank you for joining me today as I discuss another South American catfish. Today, I will be talking about the vulture catfish, a predatory catfish from South America. This is a new favorite species of mine. I learned about this species a few years ago when I got my first one from predatory fins. Now I have another one that I am growing out in my aquarium. These are interesting catfish, and I think that more and more monster fish keepers and predatory fish keepers should keep them as they are a very interesting catfish. So we're gonna, I'm going to talk to you guys about the vulture catfish today and hopefully educate you on these exotic catfish. It's not a very popular catfish in the aquarium hobby. It's not as well known like the red tail cat or the tiger shovel nose, but it should be. It's a really, really interesting catfish, and I can't wait to tell you about the vulture catfish. Now, at the end of the video, I do have a couple of announcements that I am going to make, so stay tuned for that as well. Now, for those of you who are tuned into this live video, if you have any questions or comments on the vulture cat, I will gladly answer them. So if you're watching the live stream right now, please post your questions or comments in the comment section below, and I will gladly answer your questions. Now, if you're catching this on my YouTube archive, then post your questions in the YouTube comment section, and I will answer them there as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's start, let's start talking about the vulture catfish. First, I want to tell you why I like the vulture catfish. Now, vulture catfish are a species of Pimelotus. They're in the Pimodella family. And I happen to like the Pimodella family, but most Pimodellas stay small with, with the largest Pimodella growing to about 8 to 10 inches, which is the four-line Pictus. However, the vulture cat is in its own genius, which is in the Pimelotus family. Now, Pimelotus are very active catfish. And that can be said for the vulture cat. It's a catfish that swims day and night and looks just like a shark. It's a really interesting catfish. I really enjoy the vulture cat. Now, they grow to a moderate size. They grow to be about 16 to 18 inches in length. So that's a perfect catfish for my aquarium because I can keep it with silver dollars and the fish that I like. It does not grow massively huge like a red tail cat or a paraiba or a tiger shovel nose or any of those large growing catfish. So I really, really enjoy the vulture cat. I think it is one catfish that a lot of fish keepers will enjoy. Another thing I like about the vulture catfish is that it will eat just about anything. It will eat fish, it will eat crustaceans. You know, worms, really not a hard catfish to feed. Now, they are real simple to keep in a home aquarium, a very hardy species. So they are perfect for anyone with an aquarium above 90 gallons because they're real simple to keep. That's why I like the vulture catfish. All right, let's go ahead and get started by giving out some information on the vulture catfish. Now, the vulture catfish comes from South America. It comes from Brazil, Peru, and Colombia. Now, there are different variations of the vulture cat. Some have a lot of spots in Brazil, and while the ones in Colombia don't have any spots, 
Peru seems to look like a mixture of uh, Brazil and Colombia. It just has fewer spots. So it depends on where you get your vulture catfish from. But I would guarantee you that all the vulture cats in the aquarium hobby are probably wild caught from South America. And that's a good thing because wild caught fish, in my opinion, are better in home aquariums than captive bred fish. So the vulture cat comes from the Amazon River, just like the other catfish we talked about over the last few weeks with the red tail cat and the tiger shovelnose catfish. Here's a very interesting fact about the vulture catfish. It is known to eat dolphin meat, freshwater dolphin meat thrown into the river by local fishermen. And it's also known to attack fish that are caught on a line and net. It has unique dentation, which allows it to bite fish and bite chunks out of fish. That's in the wild. I have yet to see that happen in a home aquarium. And I don't think it happens in a home aquarium because vulture cats are fed much more often in a home aquarium. They get access to food more often in the home aquarium. So they don't have to attack anything they see as prey uh, because they're getting more food in a home aquarium. So because of their unique temptation and their willingness to attack dolphin meat and fish meat, caiman meat, they are given the name machete catfish in South America. So at your local fish store, you may see them as vulture catfish or machete catfish. Now they're known as vulture catfish simply because they eat just like vultures. They eat a lot. And like I said, as the machete catfish, they're known as the machete cat because they're able to slice through their dolphin meat and fish meat and caiman meat. So, with that being said, people claim in the aquarium hobby that the vulture catfish is very aggressive. I have not personally experienced an aggressive vulture catfish. My vulture cats that I've owned have been on the docile side. They keep to themselves. They're only aggressive during feeding, but that is like most South American catfish. So I don't know where this story came from or where people claimed Vulture cats are aggressive, but it's certainly not true in my opinion. And I know a lot of other vulture catfish keepers are going to agree with me that vulture cats simply are not aggressive. They are aggressive during feeding, but that's about it. They can live with other fish that are too big to be eaten. So I want to dispel the myth that vulture cats are aggressive because simply... They are not. They are just predatory catfish that eat a lot of food. Now, the vulture cat does grow to a good size. So you will need a large aquarium. You will need probably 125 gallons and up because this fish will grow to be about 16 inches to 22 inches in length. And while that's not as big as a red tail catfish or a tiger shovel nose, it is still pretty big. It's too big to be kept in a 55 gallon or a 75 gallon. So ideally, you're going to want to keep the vulture cat in a 125 gallon aquarium and up. Now, yes, vulture cats can be kept in schools, but you can keep them singly as well. So there's no need for them to have a school, but you can keep them in a school if you want more than one vulture cat. All right, feeding the vulture cat. Vulture cats are really easy to feed. They are fishivores, which means they eat fish, but they're also carnivores. They'll eat just about anything. I have fed my vulture cat 
market shrimp, raw market shrimp. I have fed tilapia. I have fed earthworms, black worms, and blood worms. And my vulture cat eats everything. He even takes pellets, which is a surprise because in the wild, vulture cats do not have access to pellets. But vulture cat, my vulture cats eat pellets. So you can feed them just about anything, really. They'll eat pretty much anything, including smaller fish. So don't house them with neon tetras or cardinal tetras or guppies because they will become lunch. So feed them meaty foods because they are meat eaters. Market shrimp. Use raw market shrimp. Do not use Cook shrimp because cook shrimp lacks a lot of nutrients that the catfish needs. You can feed them tilapia. Just don't make the mistake of buying whole tilapia with the head still on, like I did. I was the dummy that went to BJ's thinking I was going to save money on a bag of tilapia because it's in bulk. But the tilapia that I bought is the whole fillet and the whole fish with the whole body still attached. So I have a hard time cutting through the tilapia to get to the fillet. Buy tilapia fillets. It will save you a lot of energy and a lot of time and possibly a lot of money. Earthworms are great to feed vulture cats as well. Tank mates. Anything too large to be eaten is fine with the vulture cat. So some good examples of tank mates would be other larger catfish, Megalodorus ermini, Oxidorus niger, the South American red tail catfish, tiger shovel nose, lima shovel nose, other catfish from all over the world, which could be channel cats, sun catfish. So anything that gets too big to be in for catfish would be good. Now other fish could be red belly paku, silver dollars, oscars, Severums, chocolate cichlids, stingrays, silver arowanas, anything too big to be eaten. Just make sure you have an appropriate sized aquarium for the vulture catfish. And I guarantee you will be happy with your vulture catfish. Just remember, it is very aggressive during feeding. It will attack any food you put in the aquarium before you put uh, food for other fish. So make sure you are not keeping these with fish that are really slow to eating because they may not eat unless you are hand feeding that specimen. All right, these are very active catfish, but they do like to hide sometimes when they feel stressed. So I find having a big piece of driftwood in my aquarium helps keep my vulture cat happy. He likes to hide behind the driftwood sometimes when I'm doing a water change or I have a net in the aquarium trying to catch another fish or whatever the case may be when he's stressed. He likes to hide behind a piece of driftwood. So just make sure to have decor for your vulture cat to hide in and make sure there is plenty of swimming room for your vulture cat because vulture cats are a very active catfish as I mentioned earlier and that's one of the reasons why I like vulture catfish. Now they are a very hardy catfish. You should not lose a vulture catfish for anything. They are bulletproof just like red tail cat and tiger shovel nose. Very easy to keep. However, they do take a little while to acclimate to their new environment. You may see them breathing hard once you first add them to a new aquarium. Just make sure your water is pristine and you have a lot of oxygen going through the aquarium and superb filtration because they are a catfish that love oxygen. So make sure there's enough oxygen in your aquarium and make sure that you have sufficient filtration. This fish eats a lot, grows quick, and produces a substantial amount of waste. So make 
sure you're prepared by having enough filtration. And water parameters, real simple, just like any other South American catfish. You're going to want a pH that is neutral, 6.8, 7.4, uh, zero ammonia, and the temperature can be anywhere from 72 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so that is all the information I have for you on the vulture catfish. So if you have any questions or comments on the vulture catfish, post them in the comment section down below, and I will gladly answer them. So I hope you learned a lot about vulture catfish. And if you're looking to get or purchase a vulture catfish, but your local fish store does not have vulture catfish, I have some places where you can get vulture catfish for you. Right now, Predatory Fins has vulture catfish available. You can get a vulture catfish from Predatory Fins about three or four inches for $25. They're available at PredatoryFins.com. And you'll be able to get a vulture catfish there. Also, Aquatic Rarities, a.k.a. Most Monsters, has vulture catfish as well. And they ship throughout across, they ship all throughout the United States of America. So if you're in another state that's not Florida, you'll be able to get a vulture catfish from there. So check out Predatory Fins and Malone's Monsters. They have vulture catfish frequently and they're at awesome prices $25 not bad all right so we're going to finish off today's video with a couple of announcements my first announcement is if you are a South American catfish lover like I am I have created a brand new Facebook group the name of the group is South American catfish enthusiasts and I welcome every single South American catfish keeper to join the group whether you keep Corridora whether you keep Plecos whether you keep monster cats like red tail catfish tiger shovel nose or marble acara or vulture cats or whether you keep Pimazellas, pictus cats Every South American catfish lover is welcome to join this group. I do allow other fish keepers to share their groups on Fridays only, provided I'm able to share my group into your fish keepers group. So if you have questions on South American catfish, please join my group, South American Catfish Enthusiasts. Remember last, last Sunday I told you every live video I was going to do a special shout out and last week I had a shout out for Tamed Waters and that fundraiser for that little girl who was shot and killed. Well, it did pretty well. So I want to thank you everybody who did donate to that and I want to thank you for your support in that and I do appreciate it very much. But this week's shout out is on a much more positive note and it's on a happy note for you as well. This week's shout out goes to my good friend, my buddy from Springfield, Massachusetts, and it goes to Matt Sibidu, simply because he got me back into podcasting. He got my interest back into podcasting. Because, I'm going to be honest, I lost it for a little while. I figured I had done everything there is to do in podcasting. And then when he messaged me one day saying I should come back, it kind of relit a fire inside me. And I was like, okay, should I come back and do a regular podcast? Or should I do something that I've never done before? And here we are today. We've got this live video stream that is live on Sunday nights, and then eventually goes to YouTube, where it can be found in the archives. So that is something that is credited to my buddy, Matt Thibodeau, who also has a YouTube channel. Make sure to check out his YouTube channel, Matt Thibodeau. He has um, 
some great content. He does fish videos, axolotl videos, and pet videos. So be sure to check him out. He's a great guy, and I'm sure you'll like his content. Now, speaking of Matt, I, he's probably going to laugh, but I always mispronounce his name. It's actually Matt Sib or Doe. But we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that in another video. So Matt will actually be my second or third special guest interview on a Sunday night. So stay tuned for that because we're going to be talking about axolotls with Matt Sibido. Okay, and my final announcement is on Sunday, July 11th at 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, I'm going to have my very first special guest interview right here on Facebook. I will be interviewing fellow South Florida fish keeper, uh, Daryl Schwartz. Now, I met Daryl through one of these Facebook fish groups from South Florida, and he's going to be purchasing some fish, fish from me that I'm rehoming, and he'll be having them, and he'll raise them, and uh, he'll raise them really well because he's a really good fish keeper. So, Daryl will be the very first special guest that I get to interview, and I look so forward to that. Now, the question is, how do I invite a guest to a Facebook event? Event. I know how to do it on pages or my profile, but I've got to figure out how to do it in an event. That way, people can watch it live and respond to it, and I can know how many people will be there. So, mark your calendars, Saturday, July 11th, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Mountain, and 5 p.m. Pacific. I will have my very first guest, fish keeper from South Florida, just like me, Daryl Schwartz. All right, that is our video for today. I want to thank you so much for tuning in, whether you watch live or if you caught the archive, I appreciate your view. Thank you so much, and I look forward to talking to you next Sunday night, where I'll be talking about another South American catfish. Yes, I know, I've been on a South American catfish kick for a while. It was the red tail cat, the tiger shovel nose last week, and today the vulture cat, and next week will be the marble acara catfish, so that will be fun. With that being said, I will see you next Sunday night. Have a great rest of your week, and thank you for tuning in. Enjoy the aquarium hobby, and remember, the aquarium hobby is supposed to be fun. Do not let anyone bring the aquarium hobby down for you. Do not let anybody judge your aquarium or the fish you keep. Aqua Alex. Thank you, everybody, and I'll, I'll see you next Sunday.